So not only are we deplorable and desperate, now we're Nazi Republicans. Hmm, take a look at what happened in North Carolina. The fireball charred interior walls, melted political signs, and burned a couch down to its springs before going out on its own. No one was in the building at the time. A business next door was spray painted with a swastika and a threat. Nazi Republicans leave town or else. Vandalism and violence, the new normal? I hope not. Joining me now, NCGOP spokesperson Cami Mueller. Cami, thanks for being with me tonight. Thanks for having me, Tommy. So, do they know who's responsible for this, uh, you know, at this point? We don't. It's an ongoing investigation. So, we are trusting the great law enforcement professionals of um, Orange County to continue uncovering what really happened and who's at fault. So, where were you when this firebombing and the vandalism occurred? Thankfully, I was safe at home. Um, and, and really, hours before this firebombing occurred, there were volunteers and staff members still in the building. So we are just counting our blessings that no one was there when this happened, especially the week before early voting. Early voting has started here in North Carolina, and um, people are working around the clock. So we're very, very thankful that no one was there when this happened. My goodness, it's not something that you know we see often, but it was quite militant. You know, Nazi Republicans leave town or else. That's Amazing, but you know we're seeing a lot of that right now. This campaign has turned very ugly. We know we saw Project Veritas and the the Clinton campaign, the DNC working to incite violence. I wouldn't put past anybody at this point. But I want to talk about North Carolina and the climate there because it's a very interesting state and it's very important that we win that state. We know that it's got kind of a different history. North Carolina went blue in 2008 with President Obama and also a side case of voter fraud. And then in 2012 we had Mitt Romney take it and turn it red again. What do we think is going to happen in a couple weeks? Well, that's what we're all waiting and working very hard to find out. My prediction is that it will go red. I don't know how far that margin will be. Um, there, there are billions and billions and billions of dollars flooding in from all across the country because North Carolina is the mecca for American politics really across the nation. So, you know, we're, we're in the middle of the tornado here. It is, it is hostile. And um, there are people on those sides of the equation who are working hard and who are very passionate about what they believe. And of course, from our perspective, from an American perspective, everyone has the freedom to live and work and believe in accordance to their peacefully held beliefs. They shouldn't be fearful of 